हेलो एवरीवन आई एम सुरेंद्र कौर टूडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन एक्सरसाइज 3.1 क्वेश्चन नंबर टू प्रीवियसली आई हैव एक्सप्लेन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन यू कैन चेक प्रीवियस वीडियो लीनियर इक्वेशंस इन टू वेरिएबल चैप्टर थ्री नेम इज देयर एंड वी आर सॉल्विंग एक्सरसाइज 3.1 क्वेश्चन नंबर टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल रीड द स्टेटमेंट एंड लिसन केयरफुली द कोच ऑफ ए क्रिकेट टीम बाइज थ्री बैट्स and six ball for rupees 3900 later she buys another bat and two more balls for the same kind for rupees 1300 or either 1300 represent the situation algebraically and geometrically first of all you assume anything you let the cost of a bat rupees x and let the cost of a ball is rupee y and according to a question how many bats were there three and how many balls were there six and bat cost is x and how many bats are there three three x plus six y and we have to pay the cost rupees 3900 now second equation we will make later she buys another bat and two more balls means x Plus two y equal to rupees thirteen hundred or either one thousand three hundred, and we make this equation in the term of y or either directly you can write the x value and y value. This is our equation one, and this is our equation two. First equation, I am making the table here. x value and y value and one thing keep in mind one time you take x zero and one time you will take y zero you will get neat and clean graph first in this equation three x plus six y three thousand nine hundred if I put x zero so three multiply zero All will be zero. Six y three nine zero zero, and y will be three nine zero zero divided by six. Six fifty. If I am taking x value zero, and y value is coming six five zero. Now you can take another value of x. Now I'm taking x value as thirteen hundred plus six y thirteen nine hundred and thirteen nine hundred will be cancelled. Six y equal to zero, and y value will get zero by six means zero. If I am taking x value thirteen hundred, y value I am getting zero. This is our first table. Algebraically, we have shown this first and second. Now I am making second table. Now we will put the values in our second equation, and we make one more table. Then we will draw on the graph. Now let x be zero for this second equation. X is zero. Two y thirteen hundred, and y is thirteen hundred divided by two. You will get six fifty. If x is zero, and we are getting y six hundred fifty. Okay. Now another value of x. Let I am taking x as a hundred. X hundred plus two y. Two y is equal to thirteen hundred minus hundred, and two y equal to twelve hundred, and y you will get six hundred. 
x is 100 and y we getting 600. Now we will draw this value on the graph. Now I have drawn this x axis and y axis. First we put the value of x and y from our first equation. x 0, x is 0 and y is 650. y will come between 600 and 700. It is 650. One point you will get here. Now x is 1300 and y is 0. x is 1300, y is 0. I will write the value here. Here is x 0 and y 650. And, and from this point, x is 1300 and y is 0. This first equation, we have put the values of x and y. Now we take the values of this second equation. x 0, y 650. x 0 and y 650, same, this we get. Now, x 100 and y 600. x 100 and y 600. Near about here you will get. Now we will match these three points. Now I have drawn the graph but you can draw the graph on your graph paper. I draw the graph on hand only and first I take on this origin and this space 100, 200, 300, 400, 100, 100 same space you have to take and it is a x axis. And then we draw y axis and here also 1 unit square is equal to 100. We draw up to 700. Now the first, this algebraical 3x plus 6y and equal to 3900 and we put the value, this x and y value, put. x0, y650. x0, y650. This point we get here, x0 and y650. Now, x is 1300 and y is 0. x is 1300 and y is 0. We have matched this point, this and this. Draw one line. Now x plus 2y equal to 1300. Their solutions are x 0 and y is 650. One point is common. x 0, y 650. Now x is 100 and y is 600 x is 100 and y is 600. It is coming here. x is 100 and y is 600. From this and this. Second line, these two points are coming. You match this and increase this. They will lie on the same line. And we observe that these lines are coincident. Means when two lines lie on the top of same line that are called coincident means they are same line and same space they are taking. In this way, we have drawn this algebraically and graphically and hope you would understood. Thank for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel.